let's talk about being on the doll. Well, every comedian you're going to see tonight has been on it at some point. I was on it for a little bit. Thanks for your cash. <laughs> when you're on the doll, people think it's, uh, it's easy and it's not. There's something about the doll that's very, very, very hard that you have to cope and deal with every single day. And that is called uh, Ready Steady Cook. Ready Steady Cook is the worst television show in the history of television. I'm actually convinced the Australian government is secretly funding Ready Steady Cook to punish people who are at home on the dole because nothing makes you want to get a job more than when you're sitting on the couch with your mum fucking voting capsicum for the win, okay? <laughs> nothing. And then Ready Steady Cook goes to an ad break and you're like, oh, sick, four minutes away from that piece of shit TV show. You're happy for an, for an ad break, but no. There's no escape, because according to daytime TV ads, there's only two things happening to me. Irritable bowel syndrome... <laughs> ..and dying without funeral cover insurance. <laughs> but it makes sense, because Ready Steady Cook gives you the shit to make you want to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Let's talk about dick pics. Yep, it's time to talk about dick pics on the ABC. Let's do this. I think we're ready for this. My 15-year-old cousin the other day showed me a photo of boobies on his phone from a girl that he met at Greensboro Plaza on Friday night. <laughs> she sounds like a catch. Now, he showed me photos of boobs on his phone and he did not care. He was so like, meh, whatever, meh. Did not care that he had these jumper puppets there in his hand for him to see at the age of 15. And I was like, do you know what I had to go through when I was 15 in 1998 to see anything? There was no internet yet, there was no mobile phone. I just turned into an old man at a bus stop in my day. What my generation had to go through to get off on anything, all we had before the internet was Kmart catalogues and hot cousins. <laughs> it went very quiet in here because the guys know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> then mum and dad installed the internet. Holy shit. When the internet was installed on your, on your home computer, that was a life-affirming, life-changing day for an entire generation because before that, what we really only had at night were the late-night movies on SBS. <laughs> but you never knew what the movie was or when it was going to come, so you had to go to the TV guide on a Wednesday, look at the ratings, M-A-S-A-N, sex scenes, adult themes, nudity, oh, yeah, triple banger! <laughs> triple banger! Past one on a Thursday morning, that's fine. I'll set my alarm, I'll get up. <laughs> and you set your alarm for quarter past one on a Thursday morning, your mum and dad are asleep, your siblings are asleep, you're like, oh yeah, M A S A N. Creep out to the lounge room, chuck on SBS. There's a whole generation of us that can speak fluent Russian because of this. <laughs> And you never knew when the sex scene was coming. All you needed to know was that you had to be ready the whole time. <laughs> so you're like, oh, I'm ready. Any time now. Here we go. An hour would pass, an hour and a half would pass, two hours would pass. Like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. The final scene would arrive at some 85-year-old Russian woman crying in a bath, black and white, opera music playing. You're like, I've come this far. So to the young people watching this at home, show some respect for your elders. Thank you very much.